Hi everyone, welcome to The Drop. I'm Benny Bonsu. I'm Sam Hosanna. I'm Alison Mugabe. Now, the NBA Global Games is one of the biggest events when it comes to basketball globally. Not just in London, but also in Africa now, or in Asia, all the different parts of the world. But what's now happened is that the NBA is saying that people are only allowed to purchase six tickets per person. You can't buy more than six tickets. Now, the problem we've had in the UK is that some community teams or some basketball teams want to be able to take young people to the games and have purchased more than six tickets and now they've received emails from, not the NBA, but from the marketing or PR agency saying that you've gone over the number and we have now cancelled your tickets and reallocated it to the public. Is the agency, I can't say the NBA because it's not the NBA, is the agency right to do that for basketball fans in the UK? Um, I'm, I'm I'm kind of torn between this because obviously I, I work with the NBA and I'll be at the Global Games there as well. Um, I, I understand why there's a six ticket limit because this game sells out within minutes because it's such a rare and unique thing and it's a wonderful event to happen. So they do it to stop people because there's just going to be people, if they didn't have a ticket limit, there'd be people who go on there, buy 20, buy 50 tickets and, and then, then sell them for, for however long. Prices, yeah. So I understand why they put a limit on there. Um, it's unfortunate that the, the teams that you're talking about have got caught up in this, but I also know from working with the NBA and the event and the stuff that they do around these big games, they do so much for for um, local teams and trying to get grassroots community e e events in there. So whilst the teams that you're talking about might be inconvenienced, I know that there will be so much going on within the community and that grassroots. And it may even be worth that the, the teams that you're talking about getting in contact with the NBA saying look this is what's happened and seeing if they can get involved in some of the community and grassroots programs that will be happening. Do you think Alan the NBA should be hosting some kind of a little event for just schools or young people in the country that may not get the opportunity to watch the main game? They do. They do. Uh, they do. They do. Because no, not away from the grassroots kind of a, kind of an exhibition just for schools, not for anybody else, just for young people in the I've, city. I've, 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 from my understanding, right? Um, I was fortunate actually from um, Jack over at Westminster. When um, the Lakers came over, I, I was able to get a ticket for myself, but um, some of the stuff that they were doing with um, LSB, London School of Basketball yep. at the time, um, they called Kobe Bryant down. And obviously, because he's um, with Nike and they went with Nike, they um, had him come down and he came to the clinic. And not only did he come and just kind of sit back and say, okay, I'm here, he got involved. He started telling the coaches, no, you're doing this wrong. Yeah. And when you see things like that, not only was it inspiring for me as a young man, but you can imagine what it meant for the kids. Yeah. So when you see things like that, they have to, they have to be involved. And it's, it, it's, it's bigger than just the event. The event is, is, is great, but if it's selling out in a minute or two, then put more on. Like they, uh, and, and you're right, Alan, but it's the whole logistics mm -hmm. of, of, it's of, of, of it's, it's not easy just to say, okay, let's throw an extra game. I remember they did the double header, the double header um, yeah. a couple of years yeah. ago, which, which was great. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what you said about Kobe, I remember Carmelo, when, when Melo came over and did so many different mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. with LSB um, and, and, and down at the House of Hoops, etc. Mm -hmm. um, but I also know, for example, before the games, there are loads of kids. I sit there getting ready to go onto the court and I just sit there and I just watch just, yeah, loads it's, it's and loads amazing. of kids who will come on. Amazing. So before the actual game happens, they're invited onto the court, there's a coaches clinic, they do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. They're the ball boys, they're the floor wipers, everything. So they do a lot of the I kids. mean, the six ticket limit is probably fair because for me and for you guys, you know, with the NBA, I'm more interested in the grassroots and the development of it. So I'm around and I know they do do a lot for the young people and the communities. And for the coaches that did email through to us at a drop, we do appreciate it. Simon is right, maybe reach out to NBA UK and let them know what's happened. You might be surprised. They might get your team and your grassroots development program involved in what's going on in London. But please try to understand that because the game is so popular, they need to put those limits in place so then people get the opportunity to also watch the game. NBA games in London are fantastic opportunities. So please, don't feel, if you didn't get a ticket, don't feel that they don't care. Feel that that is popular, more will come. 
and your chances will come. But if you do want to get involved in a grassroots level, reach out to the NBA itself directly. Tweet them at NBA UK yeah. and let them know. I'm sure they'll reach out to you and we'll speak to you. And I'm Benny. Go on. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I was just about to say, and Google NBA cares because yeah. that gives you a load of information. About and you know what? And to be honest, this year the NBPA is also coming ta to town and they will be doing a lot more with players yeah. in the community. So there's opportunity to always get involved with what's going on in the UK. I'm Benny Bonsu. I'm Sam Hosanna. And I'm Alex. And you guys are watching The Drop. Make sure you tweet us at The Drop underscore TV.